Costa, we're here at RLJ for oil change. Usually here in the Philippines, it's pretty much the same. You just buy the oil uh, here and then they change the oil for like the labor comes with it. So, I mean, I could have changed my own oil, but if I'm gonna be spending the same amount, then might as well go to the shop. Check out the uh, awards that the RLJ Motor team got from the car shows. This is one of many of their builds. The motor is near to them. So the motor also they carry. They have some oil filters and stuff. Very worth, like a German brand. And they have the Barta Barta batteries. Or a also, if you don't have the oil filtering stock, they can source it from somewhere else. here in RLJ they even have like the latest equipment they even have nitro um, for your air instead of regular air for your tires and uh, yeah because we had a problem before with the old tires and with regular air it exploded so now so we're used to nitro there in the states and uh, so that's what we're doing here wheels, definitely tires, all kinds. They have their Hawkeye alignment. Okay, alignment, pretty cool. This guy is installing a winch. There, this is some of their cars. And they also have like a body shop over there that actually Rocky went through them. And uh, I must say, very happy with the result because it looks like factory paint. They've renovated a little bit. This is new. Like this part right here. 
they've opened it up so now they can put more cars in here. So for all y'all guys, if you are in Iliilo, go to RLJ for your 4x4 needs. This is not a sponsored video. We just go here because we love the people over here. They're very professional. It's just like how they run things in the States. They deal with quality stuff like ARVs, uh, Iron Man 4x4 suspension. They even have Ride Max suspension, fuel, um, wheels, and everything. So whether you guys are here for just light 4x4 or just trying to um, you know, condition your truck or heavy duty off-road stuff, yeah, this is a place to be here in uh, Ililo. They're located in Guzman Street in Manduria. And uh, yeah, come check them out. 40 tires. All your camping equipment, including solar. So not only that they service Rocky here, they service pretty much any car, like for oil change, tires, wheels, whatever you need, um, you know, suspension stuff, uh, lights, accessories, and stuff like that too. Yeah, so we bring uh, Hippo here as well, and yeah. We still have to bring Rocky back here for the other parts of the body that needs to be fixed. But that's like down the line. We're trying to get Rocky back to um, good condition um, where we don't have to worry about breaking down and all that. I mean, it doesn't break down now, but like a lot of old stuff. This is a 90s um, truck. We are changing a lot of hose oils, gaskets, stuff like that. Uh, as it is right now, we could go anywhere. We're actually going to go on a trip this Sunday. So watch out for that. We're going to go, the kids want to go ATVing. So we're going to go bring them over there. And uh, I think going to Banate. That little bumper sign right there. The bull, the bull bar thing. It says Land Cruiser. That's already, uh, you can't find that anywhere anymore. So, we'll figure out a way to restore that. This little, um, like, riddle part to that. And kind of, what do you call this? Uh, restore the, uh, the letters and stuff like that. So, I'm trying to figure it out. custom to. It's with air filter, they just blow air on it to clean it up. And you all know, in the space, they just replace it. They definitely changed that bumper right there. I can't find one. There's a place over here that could mold rubber for it. Surprise! Han, Han, she's gonna open it. Have you ever looked on there? It's <laughs> Mother's Day gift. What's <laughs> Ah, 
So, okay, a little update of the house. Uh, so that's what the reverse osmosis look like. You got the um, uh, ultraviolet right there. Kills the bacteria. And you got this filters. And as well as the pressure tank down there. This is the washer. We're covering it right now, so because it's about to rain. But we are still gonna put a platform here, so we're gonna make a concrete platform so it elevates it from water uh, in case water comes from the grass right there and goes through here because uh, the catch basins, the catch basin is right here. So yeah, so I'm gonna cover this for now because we have open space right here we're gonna put like a tarp the clear one that we could just roll down um, to protect some of this from rain we didn't close it off completely because we still want that wind coming in and out and it's no big deal um, rolling down a tarp or whatnot uh, that's a huge problem that we have here because a lot of people over here are asthmatic so if you guys can see they're burning over there because uh, they're gardening and they're burning their their garden right there in that house right there um, as well as the, those debris they decided to burn it that they dumped them in that they're not supposed to be dumped so now we're because it's um, a bagat so now the wind is from the south going blowing towards us so the smoke is coming this way sometimes it's really bad depending on what they're burning so anyways uh, that's the video for today guys thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and sharing this video um, and commenting down below uh, we try to uh, answer as much as we can um, so we're gonna see you guys on the next one day we'll be looking back at this We were in a big mess